welcome to Katie Moonchild's vlog, and this is Saturday Solutions. This is a spiritual card reading that uh, hopefully will bring help us all uh, change our perspective, maybe, and find some solutions instead of just focusing on the issue, 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 like we've been doing for so long. Pretty easy to focus lately on positive stuff because the energy has been so positive. Um, changes underneath it though so that that uh, positivity for me anyway has been feeling a little bit like a slippery slope. So today let's do this little reading and uh, see what we get to find out. Uh, we're in the shadow of Lionsgate and uh, the Lionsgate portal. And I, I don't know, I have a feeling that this is a really important reading for everybody. So, I thank you for being here. Let's get started. Bear with me. Ah, there we are. There's my table and my cards. Before we do any more, so we don't have harsh shadows. Yay! <laughs> there we go. Ah, we've got... We basically have a star or a pentacle or a pentagram, however you want to look at it. Um, it is a pentacle in intention. So, yes, it is also a star. It is positive intentions, as you can tell by the sentiment stones that are hanging around on all the cards. Let me tell you a little bit about the cards and then we'll get started with this reading. Okay, first of all, this is the earth position. This is the foundation layer from here. Not this card, these cards right here. This is the thing, foundation layer of the reading. Okay, it is the earth and it is fire. Okay, up here we have the flow level of the reading and we get into flow with water and air as we go up from the soil you see what I'm saying and then finally we get the spirit position this is the believe position it's funny how we were getting the purple color Okay. In believe, see that purple? It's coming from my camera. I apologize. Any oh, there we go. Bye bye. <laughs> Anyhow, believe. Spirit's telling us to believe. Okay. Each one of these sentiment stones kind of give us a hint on what the card is going to tell us about. Finally, as we get to the end, we will get a message from our four-legged. Fuzzy, feathered, finned, scaled, uh, yeah, from the creatures of the earth. All the creatures that live around us, good and bad. They have a message of hope for us today. I love it when we get that. So, uh, without a doubt, let me get started with this, and we'll start with the earth position. It is the sentiment card of peace and we get the he a healing amethyst. This is a message from the earth and from Gaia on achieving peace and I'm hearing peace for all including her. Oh yes. It's interesting. In my uh, Lionsgate reading the other day we were told to contact our ancestors. You need to connect with the roots. Your roots. All roots. So that you can be the strong, resilient oak tree. The adaptable plant. Because its foundation is so secure and runs so deeply 
that its core is hard to be breached unless you bite it in the door. Wow. Okay. Now this card is telling us about peace. Keep this in mind. And it's a foundation card. Gaia is telling me when it when I was when I blah, 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 see the words will come out one of these days. <laughs> uh, Spirit told me to tell you all when I said roots communicating with all roots for those who aren't unaware plants communicate across species through the soil through healthy soil Oops, too far through healthy soil that healthy soils, how they communicate with each other. The people usually use the uh, aspen grove as an example of this, but that's kind of a false example because an aspen grove really basically is one tree with one set of roots. The roots go a long ways and they set up a lot of other trees along with it, but uh, yeah. This uh, card is reminding you, you're strong and resilient. You're limitless like the oak tree. And you have karmic balance. In that karmic balance is where the peace is at. Can you feel it in the air? Things flip upside down again or right side up again. We had a little bit of a taste of it a couple of, what, four, three and a half years ago. But it's really here. It is here now. And that's what this tree is telling us. You're resilient because you're limitless, you're strong, and you are in karmic balance. And that's where your peace is coming from. And the only way you're going to achieve that is to connect with your ancestors. What does fire position have to tell us? Oh, this is the uh, messages from the Spirits of Nature Oracle by Dr. Stephen Farmer. This deck is the Shamanic Dreams deck by Colette Baron Reed. And we get Dragon's Horde. It's time for us to start protecting the future and for not forget, but learn from, process, and get rid of the past in your life, in your government, in your relationships. Let it all go because you cannot find your freedom until you do. There's a price for freedom. For some it's a big price and for others it's a, oh you want it here? Let me give it to you. If you want a future of freedom you must be ready to protect it. It has to burn. Freedom has to burn inside of you with the ultimate passion. The ultimate passion. That means you're willing to do or die for freedom. Are you? That's what you're being asked here. Are you? With it being a three card, it's a card of divine feminine. It's a card of abundance and it's a card of expansion. How do we protect 
the future if we are not willing to expand. Stop thinking so small. Stop searching for comfort and stress-free lives. Because those are the cost of freedom. Some have paid the ultimate cost so you can have the stress you had in your life. They paid the ultimate cost of freedom. They're buried in the ground. They are here at peace with Gaia feeding the oak tree and waiting for you to contact them. Mm. In the water position, you kind of, as I'm getting ready to turn that card over, I need to recap these two together here. In the foundation level, we're being told to pay attention to our roots. That's where our resilience and strength is. That is where our peace is, and that is how we are fed. Okay. We have to be able to do this, find our peace, feed our roots, because we have got to be protecting the future as a dragon's horde for freedom. We don't want to lose our freedom. So this is strength and this is picking your battles. And when you pick your battles, make sure you're ready to fight to the ultimate for the freedom of being able to pick those battles. Let's move up a level. Come up from the soil. Come up from the ground. What is water going to tell us about trust? I think water can tell us a lot about trust. <laughs> I said this isn't a political reading, but it sure is kind of leaning that way a little. This card's telling us to ride the waves. Go with it. Stop fighting it. Stop resisting it. Whatever it may be for you, it's not worth the stress and the strife. Life's lessons and growth, you will get through this. Let it wash over you and through you because you have finally immersed yourself enough in flow to reach the ocean. Whether it's the Atlantic, Pacific, whichever ocean you were headed for, <coughs> pardon me, you made it. So ride those waves in every shade of blue and do it completely trusting that the results are going to be the best for all. Because you know exactly how to protect the future and the freedom that goes with the protected future. You can trust that you can ride the waves, surf those waves. Hang on, y'all. Ride, go with it. Stop trying to find something to hold on to. Oh, I just need to hold on another day. No, you don't. Relax. Let it go. Let's do this. We've got it. We have everything we need. Right? So, trust what your ancestors are telling you. Because that is your roots, that's your foundation, that's your core. And that's how you'll know how to survive 
any kind of turmoil or chaos that may be coming for you in the future. Because you will have that because you've got to grow. That's what this is telling you. Ride the wave. It goes up and it goes down. It swirls. It tumbles. And sometimes it just ebbs and flows. But ride those waves. Because you have protected the future by deciding what things you're willing to give up for freedom. For your freedom. Is it prosperity? Is it wealth? Is it riches? Is it maybe that dream car or dream house? Or the dream job or career? those are your dreams you've been manifesting those trust that by riding the wave the next wave you catch is going to have all those dreams wrapped up and tumbling in you just have to trust that it will come with you what do we need to know over here about laughing from the air. It's perfect. I love it. Let's laugh from the air. And this is the Magical Times uh, Empowerment Cards by Jody Berksma. And we get Journey. Focus on how far you have come, not how far you have still to go. You will find help in unexpected places number one unexpected place you may feel like you want a hermit and hide find a reason to connect and laugh the endorphins that come with laughter are healing do not underestimate the power of a good hard tear inducing belly laugh you're on a journey of growth, introspection, and complete transformation. You must have times of laughter and gaiety. Celebrate in your inner child will stifle if you don't. That's why there's a fairy with that unicorn. Let's see the affirmation that goes with the journey card says I am a beautiful courageous traveler on a journey towards the ultimate happiness today I am grateful for how far I have come and how much I have been given I am grateful for the companions I find along the way I will remember that I have been placed on the earth to discover what I really want to do and to be true to myself I will find my own way and I will leave sorry and I will live my dream that last sentence to you again I will find my own way and I will live my dream and I will laugh I added that <laughs> but yeah you're looking for the ultimate happiness in this journey you gotta laugh you can't find happiness if you don't let it lighten up a little you know I mean, come on let's laugh so now we have in the, in the flow, air is telling us we're on a journey. That journey is one of transformation and change and unexpected things and help from unexpected places. So laugh as you go along. And as you ride those waves, waves on that path, that journey, trust that you will get through it just fine. So laugh, 
you have set up and given up the things that were necessary for you to have your freedom and to have it protected for the future. All because you found peace inside, in the roots, in the core of you being the oak tree by discussing things with your ancestors. It all starts with the roots in the ground reaching as far as you can to that warm core of the earth. Wow. So Spirit, what are you telling us that we need to know about believing? This is from the Angels and Ancestors deck by Kyle Gray. We get the, <laughs> thank you spirit, the protection guardian. guardian. <laughs> Drop your shields. It's not time to fight. It's time to believe. The new energy is here. Not the fight, fight, fight energy. The new trust. Laugh. Have peace, believe in freedom, energy. She's telling you to stop with the negative stuff and drop your shields. You know, all of her shades of blue, purple, green, healing, soothing colors. I've used this deck in so long, I have really missed this deck. She has a crystal of Lemuria in her hand. And that hand is to remind us all, we have the power of Lemuria in the palms of our hands. You either have Atlantis or Lemuria in you most of us so as you're on this journey understand that you are fully protected you have many protection guardians this one happens to be an angel we each have a guardian angel at least one we have many actually we have multiple guardian angels that's why you can totally trust you put it in anything in the hands of the angel don't take it back and they will do the work they will fix things so that all of the pieces of the puzzle fall together for you the moment you take it back from them try to rearrange the puzzle pieces and and they don't fit together and you get confused about the picture what is the whole picture trying to tell me could it be because you're trying to control your situation and you need to let it go? You need to just trust and let it happen while you're over here laughing and enjoying your journey. Enjoy the journey. It has been, you created it for you. You didn't create it to be miserable in. You created it, it created it, it, it <laughs> to be happy. You created it because you needed freedom and you needed peace. But you have to be able to trust and believe and laugh when you really, deep down in your heart, want to cry. And after you cry, who knows? Maybe at, I mean, after you laugh, who knows? Look, it go either way. You have a good, hard cry. What happens? Sometimes it ends up in a belly laugh. When you cry out enough tears to heal, you see things differently and can laugh about it. So this is what I'm talking about, about your journey enjoy 
did you need? Thank you, Spirit. Wow. That's powerful. To send us on our way a little bit shorter this week. Three potent. Well, it's Lion's Gate. It's just after Lion's Gate. And I think we're all kind of reeling a little bit from the downloads we got. And that's what this reading is telling me. That's why we have freedom and peace and trust. Don't forget to laugh because you believe. The animals are telling you, don't lose hope because they have hope for us. The least we can do is honor that hope, right? Animals from the past, animals from the future, animals from the current time, and the message of the future. Trying your best is all that matters because the rest will fall into place. You don't have to strive for perfection. You don't have to be right or wrong. You just have to do the best that you can knowledge that you have and the abilities you've been given. You do that and you don't pay attention to what others say or judge about what you're doing or how you're going about it. And believe me, the rest will fall into place. You are a being of many colors and you can flash them like you want to. You're limitless. You are powerful. You're loving and you're kind. Those eyes on that cuttlefish can't see that that's a smile, but those eyes are smiling, wouldn't you say? I'd say they sure are. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful card. This has been a fun reading. I thank you guys very much for being here with me. Um, if you like what you saw here, hit that thumbs up. Hit the like button. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a hard one. And if you want more, if you liked it enough that you want to come back for more, please make sure that you subscribe and uh, activate that bell so that YouTube can let you know when I post something new. Um, I go in phases. Sometimes I post several things a day. Sometimes I post several things a week. And sometimes I just post a couple things a week. This happens to be a week when I have posted... Uh, no. Yeah, this week because of the Lionsgate portal. I have posted more than the normal videos. Um, there is also spiritual art done here. And as in a silly example of that... I'm going to send you out the door with the mascot of the channel, Miss Llama Turner, aka Bootsy, in her silver shoes, and resilient, decorated hair. Bootsy says, be kind to one another. Please make kindness a habit. So that together we may thrive. See you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great week. Bye-bye now.